The Red Room is one of the most used rooms on the White House state floor. It is typically used for both private events and public events. Originally, the Red Room was used as a breakfast room by President John Adams, and then President Thomas Jefferson used it as a formal drawing room. Over time, the room has been used for many different purposes, and in 1845, President James K. Polk added the iconic red color. President Abraham Lincoln liked to use this room as a sitting room at night where he would read papers from around the nation covering the Civil War. And then it has also been used as a entertainment space. President Ulysses Grant loved to use this room for entertaining and would often bring the men to this room after dinner to enjoy cigars and sip brandy. And sometimes on occasion, he would even reenact or recount some of his glory days on the battlefield. This room has also been used for more formal events. First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt used this room to host her women's only press conferences. And on March 3rd, 1877, President Rutherford B. Hayes was secretly sworn in in the Red Room following the contested election of 1876. Today, the room is decorated in an empire or Grecian style, which was very popular in the 19th century and included elements of classical art. One of the most notable paintings in the Red Room is a large portrait of Angelica Van Buren. She was the daughter-in-law of President Martin Van Buren and often served as White House hostess. President Van Buren himself is represented by a portrait bust that also is featured in the Red Room. As you enter the Red Room, you will notice a beautiful portrait of First Lady Dolly Madison by Gilbert Stewart. Dolly Madison was well known for her entertaining and hostess duties as First Lady. She also hosted regular Wednesday night receptions at the White House. Other paintings in this room include natural landscape paintings, which depict a number of locations throughout the United States.